Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So finally uh, Zelensky comes out and says what we all know. There's a war between Zaluzny, General Zaluzny and Zelensky. These guys try to keep the lead over this and I said it many times they will let us know after about a week or two weeks after everything happened they will come and say it. Now uh, Zelensky was interviewed by Sun, the Sun, and he in that interview he reveals that uh, the um, generals should shut the hell up and don't get involved in politics. And he is going to give us some information regarding his war with Zaluzny. Probably he's not going to uh, express it the way I did, because that's the way you do it as a comedian. But let's see. Let's see this beautiful article coming from Bloomberg. And here it is. November 21st. Zelensky warns army chiefs, plural, not to meddle in politics, Sun says. So, army chiefs. Ukrainian President Zelensky warned his military leadership against dabbling in the country's politics, taking a jab at his top commander after tension between the two came to light. Bravo! Finally! Finally! Today is the 21st. Here are some videos I made. Uh, and if you look at the one on the bottom, it started in at least October 16. The next one, October 30th, November 4th, and so on. And here are some titles. Conflict between General Zaluzny and Zelensky. Ukrainian military insurrection. Ukrainian civil war. Zelensky tells General Zaluzny to shut up. War between Zaluzny and Zelensky escalates. Zelensky pur purge uh, prepares him to war with General Zaluzny. All these things, all these videos I made because it was clear that by their little weasel talk we could figure things out. And now he comes out and says shut the hell up. Uh, he did this before with Zaluzny last year in about, um, I think it was June. 2022, when Zaluzny was asked by a um, uh, interviewer, uh, "Hey, uh, what do you think about the counteroffensive?" The they were talking about the fall counteroffensive or something like that, and Zaluzny said, "Well, if I need about 500 tanks to conduct a counteroffensive," and then uh, Zelensky told him, "Shut up! Uh, don't talk about things like this." And then Z Zaluzny said, "Okay, I'm just going to be focused on winning wars and defending my country." But hey. It seems like I think Zaluzny is sick of having his Ukrainians killed by uh, the Russians on the orders of some other guys that push their military into, I would say, elimination. So let's read this little article here. We're going to discuss this further. So it says uh, in the comments to the, to the Sun newspaper, Zelensky referred mainly to military officers who entered politics in the years after Russia's annexion of, Cre of Crimea in 2014. But he explicitly singled out the current command, including Ukraine's popular army chief Valery Zaluzny, general. So he is the one that not only has the popularity, he has the Ukrainian, um, if you know what I mean, and he also has the guns. So that's all you need, the guns actually. And I'm quoting Zelensky, I'm guessing, right? With all the respect to General Zaluzny and to all the commanders who are on the battlefield, there is an absolute understanding of the hierarchy and that is it. And there can't be two, three, four, five, he said in an interview to the British newspaper published Tuesday. Zaluzny stroke a public spot with the president's office this month when he described the war as a stalemate a stalemate a statement in the uh, comments to the economist the president's office challenged the statement laying bare what many viewed as division between zelensky and his top brass over the war of course that is was clear why because zelensky gets his information from the military and this guy's in charge of the military Supposedly, right? Zaluzny. So he sh they should be on the same page. But one is a military guy and the other one is a politician. 
So they work on two different uh, games. The military is going to report supposedly what's actually happening on the front. The other guy is going to make it sound the way the population needs to hear it. And uh, foreign allies. So that's a, a disconnect between these two guys. And obviously they were not communicating. I think they communicated. The problem is Zaluzny, I think, and I will continue to, to uh, claim this and probably history will come and write uh, uh, some good books on that which are already written, they just put dates over there. At the end of this conflict, you're going to see in um, no time there will be some approved uh, legitim, uh, legit books allowed to be published and those guys will be best-selling authors. Not because they're uh, good, because they got the right to do it. If I write a book, nobody's going to find out about it. Why? I'm not promoting certain kind of narrative. I'm trying to find the truth. I don't know if those guys will do the same thing. Uh, history and experience tells me no, but you never know. Here it is. Uh, Zaluzny is on notice, put on notice by Zelensky. Let's read further and see what this uh, weasel has to say. The military commander hasn't signaled any political ambition. <laughs> With that we don't know. But his popularity has given rise to speculation that he may not be the only public figure in position to challenge Zelensky. He appeared alongside the country's defense minister, Rustem Umerov, on Monday, who is Zelensky's boy, discussing the battlefield developments with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, discussing, meaning, I covered that yesterday, negotiating, receiving orders, and reporting the situation on the front. That's probably what Zaluzny is at this point, and he could be sick of doing that. Why? I think he is uh, looking at his nation, his Ukrainians, and looking at his military and saying these boys are dying for you and for nothing for us. Zelensky has ruled out holding elections next year, citing martial law and saying the country must concentrate on the war effort. Ukrainian media have, fo have focused on the issue, particularly after US Republicans, may many resistant <coughs> to continue the spending on Kiev, called for a vote to underscore democracy. The tension in Kiev comes on top of grim mood among government and military officials, with winter setting in after a month-long counteroffensive, blah 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 blah. So, Zelensky referred to political forces pushing the military into politics. The president recalled the tenure of his predecessor Petro Poroshenko, when he he when, when the country first experienced combat with Russian-backed forces after 2014 and blah 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 blah, commanders began to wade into politics. Each political party wanted some military men, stars of the war, and I believe that was a very big mistake. End quote. Zelensky said in an interview. Uh, he doesn't like competition, obviously. Uh, who would like competition uh, unless you're honest and you want to improve? But. Um, that's a few way, there's a few ways to uh, you know, rise on top of everybody else. One with uh, achievements, with quality. The other one is stabbing everybody in the back or cutting their legs so they can fall. And it's only you standing over there alone, very low, but you're the only one. So say, well, everybody's gone, nobody around. Everybody's bad, portrayed by I wonder whom. Let's pick this guy. And the other one is, you don't do that, but you know the right people and they will hire you regardless of these guys shine or you don't shine. It doesn't matter. You know the right people. So that's a three, at least three methods. Obviously, the real one that we are puck, puck, puck in our heads since we are kids is meritocracy. Meritocracy. Yeah, okay. If you want to uh, accept that, that's the reality the meritocracy. You just have to take a look at your bosses, for instance. Or if you want to take a look, look at the political system in America and the bureaucrats appointed by those guys. Now, if you think that those guys in top, let's say, United States of America, the guys elected and the guys appointed are based on merit, were over there on merit, then okay, then I guess uh, you need a little bit of uh, a readjustment like we used to do with the um, TVs in Ceausescu's time. Boom, 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 hey, wake up, do, do, do. make the right contact. So I think this is just a, uh, I mean, it's a confirmation. What do you want to, how, how would you want to call this one? Zelensky coming out and say, hey, you back off. I think the situation is Zaluzny doesn't want to uh, continue the war. And this guy who's, uh, you know, someone else is uh, a little clown over there has to continue for the 
profits of the um, outside interest, military industrial complex, energy, and the banking system, finances. These are the guys over there that push and pull and push and all that. And Zelensky is one of those guys, Zaluzny possibly realizes that uh, um, his country militarily cannot win against these guys and it's in vain. Uh, I made an article, a, a video on an article yesterday, I think it was, where these guys said that from the population of Ukraine of about 44 million people, now there are about 19 million people. In almost two years, half of the Ukraine population doesn't live in Ukraine, either gone or eliminated. Now you wait two more years and then you're going to have only Zelensky, Zhmyhal, Yermak and uh, what's his name, Reznikov around. Or maybe the Tatar, whatever his name is, the uh, Minister of Defense. What's his name is Dabuglov, Kabogabo, Kopoklov, uh, Umerov, Russian name of at the end, usually, but hey, what do you want? So, so we have Rustem Umerov. So these guys will be the only ones remaining over there. Remember, Zelensky also put Another guy on the deadline, which is what? Uh, Vitaly Klitschko, the mayor of Kiev, he's gone. You have, have you heard him about him or about him or from him uh, in the past, I don't know, six months or so? It's very sporadically, maybe on three occasions. Whereas last year, every day almost you would hear him say something. When the Russians attack Kiev, now with drones renting, you have the Kiev military uh, blah 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 talking about it, military command, not uh, what's his name, Klitschko saying, yes, we uh, destroyed the, the blah blah blah, we're very good, nah nah nah. And the last attack when Zaluz Zelensky, I think, threatened um, Klitschko was the incident where the Russians uh, dropped some missiles on Kiev, uh, maybe it was at the early May. And uh, if you remember, there was a uh, shelter that didn't open the doors for a woman and two children and they perished. And Zelensky told uh, that he's going to knock, uh, what's his name, uh, Klitschko. He's going to knock Klitschko out like, like that maybe. Uh, maybe in kicking his, his balls, that's how tall he is. Um, and because he's sick of uh, collaborators from, we have enemies from outside, we don't need enemies from inside, referencing to uh, and giving a warning to Klitschko, we're gonna take care of you, we're gonna just give you a little uh, paper, we'll say that you are actually uh, suspicious to us and we're gonna talk to you forever. But Klitschko is, I think, the German's guy, German's guy, so he's uh, uh, still protected. Zaluzny, he's protected by his guns and military. So, my friends, um, that was with Klitschko. Don't hear about Klitschko anymore. For that reason, he was told, back off, you're too popular. Remember last year, as I said, and I think it was June, when Zaluzny came out, he said, you know what, I'm gonna, it seems like it's a popularity contest here. And uh, Zelensky has a big, big team of public relation boys, which I suspect they are very much uh, connected and probably helped by, you know, uh, over, over the border people. Here it is, my friends. I think it's clear. Uh, it was it for me. It was clear. Ninety-nine percent. Now uh, he comes and says it. Why? It's a little civil war behind the scenes over there. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth, and be just.